Doing good, my man. How are you? We're gonna get some McDonald's. My son can't go to the bathroom. So you've heard of global warming, right? I have. Yeah. Big issue. Do you think it's a big it's, issue? Well, no, because we just had a snowstorm in March. We had a snowstorm here in March. Okay. Well, what about climate change? Like crazy weather patterns. Not familiar with that. They called me. I'm gonna be on the Weather Channel. Hot dog. On the phone, we've got Greg Hudson, who shot some pretty good video out of Leesburg, Virginia. Greg, thanks for joining us on the phone today. Yeah, hi, good morning. How are you doing? Well, we're doing okay, but how bad were the conditions when you were out there shooting it? Absolutely amazing. I'm actually standing outside right now here in Leesburg, and we're still having 50 mile per hour winds, heavy snow. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Um, you've heard the quote from uh, like Seinfeld where he says, serenity now. It's insanity now, I'm telling you. At this, at this area, Manassas and surrounding Prince William County, went decisively for Republican Governor Bob McDonald. Nobody, nobody has uh, a pass. A skeleton Santa on a cross was drawing disapproving looks as soon as he appeared on the lawn of the Loudoun County Courthouse. I think it's horrible what they did about putting uh, a skeleton wrapped in a Santa suit on top of a cross. We're going to have to change our, the way that we uh, go about things because of an offensive display that could scare my children. Mary Zornecki was so offended, she decided to do something about it. What are you doing? I'm taking this down. Why? It's offensive. They were here live. Lynn just peed in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. Lynn, it's all right. Don't be embarrassed. It's okay. Hey, mate. Hi, how are you? You're my hero. Thank you. Can you do me a favor? Just say you're on the Daily Greg. I'm on the Daily Greg? Daily Greg. The Daily Greg. I'm on the Daily Greg. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Hey, Matt. You're on the Daily Greg again. How you doing, buddy? Good, thanks. How you doing? Good. Have a good day, Obama supporter. Oh. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Oh. Okay, we're losing Joey in intimate apparels. Come on. Okay, Joey, let's let's leave that alone, okay, son? They're for girls. They aren't for boys, except Daddy needs one. Hey, everybody, it's me, Greg. It's Daily Greg, and Jeannie is going to pop a huge zit off of my back. Let's put this sucker on. Come join me for putting a toilet seat on with Greg on this edition of The Daily Greg. Right in there is Mike Seidel of the Weather Channel. It's very exciting. Station out in Bluemont in the western part of the county, six inches of snow. All right, I'm with Mike Seidel. Oh, with the Weather Channel. Yeah, we're going to do a video, too, it's on the Daily dark. Greg. It's, it's, it's kind of dark out here. It, the lighting is poor, but I'm with my Weather Channel God. This, this will never see the light of day. It will not. Did we rehearse this? No. Well, tell me. Is it in color? We are in color. 
Okay. With uh, Mike Seidel of the Weather Channel here live on the Daily Greg. What is the Daily Greg? The Daily Greg is like webisodes on okay. YouTube. Okay, got it. And uh, I've, it, I've got dinner. I must be. You've got dinner. dinner. He's, he's got his dinner, so we will leave Mike Seidel alone to report on the uh, blizzard of. Uh, well, it's kind of overdrawn, isn't it? The light oh, dusting no. of snow. Oh nine. Oh nine. What did you first say when you said that you met him? I said, hi, I'm Greg with the no. Daily Greg. What did you tell me when you just got home about him? Well, he wasn't very nice. Okay. He wasn't very nice to me when I first met him. Because he's doing his job, and you come up, and you're like, hey, you might say Daily Greg. Then you were Daily Greg. <laughs> you know, I mean, he doesn't want to be on your stupid little video. Come on, it's exciting. Everybody wants to be on the Daily Greg, right? Hey, can I interview you for the Daily Greg? Ah, uh, it's Meredith Vieira. Oh, she, she's giving kisses. Oh my God, she if I got that, it love. might send a slight chill nice. down my spine. It's Meredith Vieira on the Daily Greg. It's my little show. Yeah, my hero, you're my hero. You are. Look, she whacked me. Meredith Vieira whacked me. <laughs> Sounds so good. Oh yeah. I like the way that that sounds, Jeannie. Oh. Just put your hands in that. You know what? You can smother that across my body. And you could stuff me, my lady. Because I'm as big as a bird. People tended to call me Big Bird back in the day because my long legs, the sleekness of my soul. Mm, God, it makes me just want to eat it, honey. Makes me want to get it. Want me, want me, want me, want to lick it. Ryan, can you pass the chocolate, please? Yes, it does. Hey, everybody, it's me, Greg, and tonight we're going to make s'mores. No? Okay. And there we go! That's the world's biggest, most gigantic ever s'more. The only thing that's missing? Boom. You gotta throw a little bit of these on top. It's time for cooking in the kitchen with Greg. That's what time it is. Uh, to the little shepherd boy. Uh, oh yeah, baby. Do you hear what I hear? Oh, oh. We're gonna go shopping we're gonna spend a lot of money we're gonna try to get a black friday deal oh a black friday deal just like those people everybody go buy your xbox Do you hear what I hear? It's gas coming from your bottom. This year I wear dependent undergarments so I can last all the way from Israel to America. Oh, ho, ho, ho. With all the boys and girls leaving me cookies, every once in a while, Santa Claus gets the runs and he has to dump his diaper overboard and onto the Middle East. Ho, ho, ho. There will be emergency equipment out there. Please do not panic once we get on the ground. There's no reason to do anything unless the flight attendants or the captain say anything to do. Just remain seated just like a normal landing. Thank you. Hydraulics failure forced a United Airlines flight to make a very careful landing at KCI today. At least one relief passenger actually kissed the ground there inside the airport. 
The plane was coming in from Washington, D.C., carrying 101 passengers, and the pilot alerted the control tower that it had lost part of its hydraulic system. The plane's landing took some careful work by that pilot, and we spoke with KCI officials who said while the failure was not a catastrophic issue, it was, quote, nothing to sneeze at. It wasn't the hope and change that I was hoping for in a way. Greg Hudson, a voter here in this battleground state of Virginia, was an Obama voter, now says he's looking at Romney. Guys, thank you. Interesting, Mike, you know, the, the candidates go on shows like Letterman to try to, you know, boost their numbers among undecided voters, and for that undecided voter, doesn't sound like it's going to help. So these are the pecan logs. They, are, they used to be cheaper back in the 70s. Oh, yeah, well, of course everything's going to go up. I know. What's up with that? Yeah. Well, we got these two. We got Which one's the logs. better pecan log? Which one's the one that's going to take, take my wife to the place of happiness? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> that's a pretty big pecan log. Yeah. Oh, my. I think you've been staying up too late. That's why you're angry and tired all the time. And tonight, you're going to go to bed a little early. You can read some books. On the scooter. What? Yeah, we're selling brownie. Don't. No, it's time. No. It's time to sell brownie. No. Yeah. No. A dollar. No. No, it's really time, Joey, don't you think? You can see us at the front desk. There is poo poo in the pool, Joe. So they have shut it down, buddy. Yes, yes. That looks like you. <laughs> oh, no, come on. Ooh. We're taking you guys to Disney World <laughs> on a trip. You're going on a plane today. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan, you got a really big boo-boo, huh, baby? Does it hurt bad? Yeah, are you gonna cry? Okay, but you got really swollen. It's swollen all the way up to your nose and down. Now, Daddy may need to take you to the doctor, right? The drought is over! Come on, come on, come on! Please! Here we go! Mr. Harvick. No problem. Thank you. Awesome. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Let me get a picture real quick, guys. Okay, here we go. Ready, Rye? That's Rascal, the one who's black and white. There's Barney, the brown one. They're fighting. They're having fun. It's the morning. It's early. And we have no coffee in the house. A recipe for disaster. Today we're going to ask people here in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area and visitors to the White House what they think of the current political race here in America. I'm Marilyn and I approve this message. At the State Fair of Texas. Right. See if he says anything. Hello. Go on. Go on. Hello. Oh, I'm going to get angry. Hello. <laughs> Come on, there's a baby. Yeah, be careful. Ooh! Happy <laughs> 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 New Year! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, the best day! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Happy New Year, Rai <laughs> Rai! <laughs> Come here, Joey! Stepper! I need Ryan, I need a hug, son! My hand's over! Happy New Year, big guy. <laughs>